ok. Are we live here? Let me double check just to make sure my sound is coming through properly for you fellas. But I think it okay. should be. Yeah, it is. You can hear me. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? And also, Happy New Year! This is the first stream of the year. You can see there on the title, Season 3, Episode 1. So this will hopefully be the first one of many streams. For those of you who are new on the channel and are just, you know, arriving here, we always stream on Sundays, right about at this time. So make yourself comfortable and enjoy. Let's play some TF2. We will be today at the London server. So you can see the IP is here. It is also in the description down below. And it will be up there on, on the corner for anyone who wants to, to join us and have fun with us. So that's where we are gonna be playing today. If you don't know how to connect to community servers, all you have to do is come here in the game on find a game, community servers, then on the favorites tab, you click on this button here, add the server, and then you paste in the IP and it will show up here on this box for you to, to connect. So let's have fun together. We are already with a bunch of people here on the server. Free to play, no Pepsi main, Minktory, VPC and Uncle Leo are also here. So consider connecting and let's have some fun. You know, regardless of where you are in the world, come play with us, it will be very nice. So yeah, hello there, Inspector, The Freak as well, Tsofek. And VPC, um aleatório, and also Hovi and Sniper. Hello, Hovi. How are you doing? I hope my I hope my server <laughs> doesn't lag. It's a bit choppy for me here. It could be my internet connection because I'm from Brazil and the server is well in, in London. So there could be some latency issues here, but I, I hope things go smoothly for, <laughs> for me here. So, but yeah, hello there, Hovi, and all my friends there. In chat, I'm glad to have you all here again on the server. It's been a while, I've streamed the last time was what? I think it was before Christmas, so it's been quite a bunch of weeks now. But we are back on schedule and we will re restart our weekly streaming schedule. You know, so we are today checking out VPC's map also. This one we, we checked out uh, a couple of months ago, he was working on this map. Ah, and I can see you finally added that second spawn door. That's very nice, VPC, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, now it is still possible to camp both spawns, but this railing here and the fact that, you know, you, you can't see the other spawn door, spawn door from here, that makes it a lot better, a lot better, my friend. If this door was elevated, I think it would be even better, but perhaps it could mess up the internal layout of the spawn room. So I, I think the, the way it is now, it is perfectly fine. Very nice. Perhaps tone down a bit this, this light here. It is very bright to see. This one doesn't look as bright. So here also very bright. I think I would tone it down a little bit. You know, the, the internal lighting to something more like this, you see. This, I think, is more appealing than this is. This is too bright, so you have to adjust that. But I'm glad to see you managed to add that secondary spawn exit there. That will make the, the gameplay a lot more enjoyable for everyone. Very nice, my friend. And also the aesthetic of the map is starting to, to take shape as well, it seems. I really like this this, you know, pine aesthetic, alpine aesthetic you were going for. But perhaps and we have here Uncle Leo. Very nice, my friend. But yeah, you know, I, I think perhaps you, you could make the ambient light also less harsh. It, it seems too bright to me. And Uncle Leo has some, some new unusual towns. Very nice, my friend. Looking good, looking sharp. Very nice. Okay, so let's see if I can protect this spot here. The scout's trying to, to get me from the flank. Let's not allow that. Okay, I think that Pyro is having problems <laughs> with latency. <laughs> it seems so, Pepsi Man. I hope, I hope you are doing fine, my friend. I hope you can play properly. But yeah, the map VPC is making is looking very good. Very good. These towers weren't here the last time we, we played on it. Maybe add some decorations, you know, some windows to it could help make it look more interesting 
but I think, you know, your next assignment to the PC should be to work on, on lighting. I, I think it is too harsh, even for a, 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 a bright map, you know. This here, for example, I think is very good, and I'm trying to shoot my teammates. I am, I am on red team. I have to, <laughs> I have to remember that. I have to remember that. Hey, hello there, the freak. Glad to have you here. I saw you left a message earlier, before stream started. I'm glad to have you here with us, my friends. And Hobby Sniper is saying there. Have you seen the second episode of Lurking Shadows? Took me five months to make. Which is very crazy. Ah, uh, no, I haven't, Javi. I actually missed that, the release of that episode. I wasn't aware it, it premiered, at, at least not that I remember. Very nice, Javi. I think, Javi, you can paste links on, on chat there because you are a stream moderator. So try pasting a, a link to that episode so the other good people here on, on chat can go check it out. I'll try to do that today, after the stream. I wasn't aware, uh, Hobby. I haven't been paying much attention to my my subscription feed lately. So that's perhaps that's why I missed it. But very nice, my friend. Congratulations. I hope the reception on it has been good, and you are you are happy about it, my friend. Very nice. I'm sure it is an excellent piece of of animation. Very good. Very good. So yeah. Hey, Inspector! Glad to have you here. I'm glad you returned to the stream. Very nice, my friend. Yeah, you see, Javi managed to, to paste the link there on, on chat to his to his animation. Go check it out, fellas, and give Javi a, a thumbs up, because he's an excellent animator. By the way, Javi, since we are, we are talking about your animation skills, I might also commission you again this, this year. Because I changed my loadouts once more at the end of, of last year, I had already changed them once again. And I, I need a new Ultra. <laughs> so I think I'll, I will commission you once again, my friend, if you have the time to, to do some commission work for me. But not right now, I'll, I'll let you know when. So if, if you still have the file for that animation you made for me, saved somewhere on your computer, make sure you don't delete it, because you will probably be able to reuse it a little bit. My friend. Okay, let's see if I... Yeah, I was gonna say, let's see if I don't die to the scout, but it was no use. No use. So yeah, Meme Alert, hello there, and Minktory as well. You're playing with us, aren't you, Minktory? Yeah, you are on the blue team. Very nice, my friend. Glad to have you here. Hi, Hobby saying there. By the way, Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to all of you, fellas. I hope 20, 20, 2023 is a good year for, for all of us. You know, the, the last, I think, three to four years were pretty rough. But I, I'm actually hopeful for this, this year. I think we are going to have some, some good surprises along the way, you know. It's the first year in this last four or five that I'm actually starting it kind of hopeful. Not very hopeful, but a, a little bit hopeful. And I think that's a, a good sign. Go, go, go. Hey, Joker Miles, glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Saying, I spend my day on my brother's birthday and happy new year. So to, today is your brother's birthday. If it is happy birthday to your brother, Joker Miles, and happy new year to both of you as well. I'm glad to have you here again on stream with us. I, I, this, this one, yeah, it is Mictory. Mictory really knows how to dodge. You're playing Scout very well, my friend. Very well. Very nice. I am the Freak. The Freak is asking. Sorry for asking, but how do I join? All you have to do, the, the Freak, is to copy the IP for the London server. It is somewhere on screen, but it is also on the stream description. You copy that IP. Don't click it. Copy it, okay? And then you come here and find the game community servers and in the favorites tab you click on this button add the server and then you paste in or type the IP here it will show up for you to connect on this box and then you you can join that's how you you do it hey calm Nana hello there my friend glad, glad to have you here happy new year to you too calm Nana I hope you have a wonderful 
year and may 20, 2023 be the best year for all of you fellas again I, i'm very hopeful for this year i think we we are gonna have a, a good year for a change okay where is that heavy ah here he is ah, if i okay i i was thinking if i can dodge just a little bit because he's with the he was with the mad milk active i would be able to heal the damage I dealt to him, so it worked out for me in the end. And you know, about this year, I actually have some plans for for this channel. And I, I would like to take a, a while to explain explain those plans for you fellas, you know, kind of like what I am thinking about doing with this channel this year. The initial idea I had for this channel here was to... <laughs> I got to there, Mictory was to make some gameplay videos, you know, kind of like Musilk and Star and Jerma used to do back in the day, you know, so just playing the game and having fun, that sort of, of thing. And when I started doing these streams, and I, I, a little bit before that, but kind of like at the same time, I realized it would be kind of like redundant to just make gameplay videos like that, you know. And that perhaps it would be better to stream and then do stream highlights like I've been doing and to do some discussion videos from time to time when there is a topic to discuss, you know. Kind of like that's been how I've been that's how I've been manage, managing this channel for the for the last years ever since it started. I think I, I did one or two at most gameplay videos you know pure gameplay videos and then after that i started streaming and and making discussion videos you know which i i think is how most of you subscribed to this channel either through one of my streams or through through one of my discussion videos i think that's how you, you fellas found me but this is a, a special year for me because this year I, I've been doing YouTube for 10 years now. It was, I think, on, on January 5th that my other channel, Oya oh yeah Games, my Brazilian channel, has completed 10 years being active. And that, that birthday, that channel birthday, kind of like got me thinking that perhaps I should try to return to form, you know to return to my humble origins for a little bit, even if it is just to experiment with, with it. And I started making TF2 videos on my other channel, simply making gameplay videos, you know. Very low effort, <laughs> kind of like just playing the game and having fun with it and, and, and that's it, you know. So I was thinking it could be a, a good thing to try and go back to that style of content. And I'm gonna do that on this channel and also on my Brazilian channel, you know, so this will be kind of like a, a year for me to return to my origins, even if I don't stick with that style of content, you know, just to try it out once again and, and see if all these years after starting to, to make content on YouTube, if it is worth it to, to try and go back to my origins making gameplay videos, pure gameplay videos, you know, both live commentary and also post commentary with tips and tricks, you know, kind of like narrating the the gameplay and that sort of, of thing. I, I don't plan on stopping streaming, I'll continue to stream every, every Sunday like we've been doing for the last years, and I also don't plan to stop making uh, commentary videos whenever there is a, an interesting topic to discuss. But I feel like I have to do something other than just posting stream highlights whenever whenever uh, I don't have a specific topic to talk about on a, a discussion video. You know, also because posting stream highlights is, is okay and it is a way to keep a, a channel active. But I don't know, I, I feel like it isn't as fun as recording gameplay, you know, to, to post. And I remember I stopped doing gameplay on, on my other channel, kind of like 
four or five years ago because casual matchmaking was practically, practically unplayable because of the bots. Nowadays there are still bots, you know, things aren't perfect, but I think the situation has improved enough for me to, to give that a try once again. I think it will be, it will be interesting to, to try going that route once more. So that's, that's what I'm thinking, you know. What else are you saying? Let me see. Big Bill asking for the server IP. It's the London server. It is on screen, Big Bill. And it is also on the stream description for you to, to be able to join, to copy and paste it into the game. So you can find it there. I hope he's not saying he bought a harmonica, so he'll try to recreate TF2's music just for fun. Ah, that's very nice, Hobby. Pretty cool. Interesting to see you are kind of like jumping into a, a music hobby, even if it is just for fun. Because I, I also bought a, a keyboard, a, a musical keyboard, a small one, Casio, a small Casio keyboard, very small, you know. In some places it is even sold as a, a kid's keyboard, kind of like your first keyboard, you know, that sort of stuff. And I, I bought it and I, I'm, I'm also playing around with it. I've already learned how to play uh, Pallet Town from the, the original Pokemon games, you know, this song from Pallet Town. And I've also learned to play how to play Jingle Bells. <laughs> I already forgot how to play Jingle Bells on it, but it's okay, I learned I and I moved, moved on to, to the next one. So I, I'm also having some fun with music, you know. Just for fun, nothing serious. I think it's a very, a very nice hobby, for sure. It's good for a change of pace. So that, that's interesting, my friend. Very nice. I mean, Victor is saying I, I should on my on my Brazilian channel make a, a special video with all the different intros I used on the channel over the years. That that's a nice idea, Victory. I might do that. I might do that. That's a nice idea. And thank you so much for the congratulations, Sofek. Ten years making YouTube content is a lot of time. A lot of time. You know, it's. I, I have never become a professional at it, but I, I've had a lot of fun and I learned a lot. So thanks a lot, Sofek, for the congratulations. Hey, and Alison, hello, hello there, Alison. Happy New Year, glad to have you here on stream as well. Come play with us if you have some time. Very nice. Alison, by the way, I, I saw you, you all won. I, I think you won some of the items on our, on our last giveaway. And Rika the Frika also won. I know you are you are in touch with Rika. I think you are. So please let Rika know that there are some prizes there on on, on scrap.tf to be withdrawn. Okay, so so relay that message, please. But I, I'm happy to, to see you here, Alison. Very nice. I and Hobby saying we should start a band. <laughs> A music band. I don't think I'll, I'll ever be good with the keyboard to do that, but if I, I ever become, we are gonna start a band, Hobby, for sure, for sure. Hi, Rika is there! Rika, go go, go get your prizes from Scrap.tf, Rika. I think you have prizes there. But yeah, Rika is saying, hey there, professor! I've been playing piano classically for about 18 years. Ah, oh, that's very nice. And one of my favorite things to do is play songs from games I like. It's a great way to get better too. Yeah, you know, I I was actually doing that, kind of like uh, playing songs from games with Pico 8, which is a, a computer software that allows you to. Hi, ah, Alison is here. Nice. Allows you to to kind of like create some chip tune music. You know, kind of like the the songs from the Game Boy and the NES era. So what I was doing was actually finding the compositions I wanted online and transcribing them into into Pico 8 and I was having a lot of fun doing that there are even some some videos some music videos I posted on my other channel on all your games but I, I thought it would be interesting to kind of like do the jump to a real musical instrument so that's why I I I got a keyboard but very nice you you're, you probably play, play very well 18 years of classical piano is very nice you know, if you if you feel like it, Rika, sometimes record your, yourself 
playing something and post it here for us so we can check it out. It would be it would be fun to be able to listen to you play. I almost died there somehow. I don't I don't know how really. But I, I'm almost dead. Let's try to, to get some health here before I die. Very nice. Pretty good. Okay. <laughs> and I saw someone there in in chat asking about the, the ping. I have what 200 something ping. It's because I am from Brazil and we are playing on the on the London server. And I, I hope my game didn't crash. I, I had some crashes before. Yeah, my game crashed. <laughs> when I when I was checking the 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 scoreboard after dying. I I don't know what why that happens, but I had a crash like that yesterday. So I think it's probably due to some I don't know some of the fixes they've been push, pushing to to TF2 recently. I I don't really know why that happens, but I'll, I'll connect to the server. Weird crash to have there, and it's interesting because it is always whenever I am checking the scoreboard after I died. You know, I have I think I have to stop checking <laughs> this scoreboard, not to risk getting a, a crash. Let me see if the server is still running. Yeah, the server is still running. It was it was I who crashed. So let let's get back into it. I think I should be able to do that. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on my way back. So yeah. I mean to is saying there. By the way, uh, talking about music, I love to play cavaquinho. It is a, a kind of like a, a small guitar for so for those of you who are not aware about that instrument. Very nice, Mictory. A, a lot of people talented with music here on, on stream. I didn't I didn't imagine that. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Hey, Fitzgerald's there asking about when I'm gonna play TF2 team on the berimbau. <laughs> the berimbau is another Brazilian instrument. It's kind of like a, an instrument with a, a bow, one string and a cup. And it has a, a very distinct sound. It's a, an instrument very used on capoeira, you know, on capoeira matches. It sounds kind of like this. L let me see if I can make a, a berimbau impression here. It's chika chung jing jing chika chung jing jing chika chung jing jing chika chung jing jing chika chung jing jing. It's kind of like that, you know, and, and it repeats forever. It's it's very interesting. I don't even know if you could play the TF2 team on, on the betting ball because if I'm not mistaken, technically you can only make I think two or three different notes with a betting ball. But maybe I am mistaken. I, I don't know. But it would be interesting to see the TF2 team played on, on a betting ball fits for sure. That's a, a, a nice idea. Very nice idea. I mean, to say there, I love capoeira. I'm trying to make a capoeira animation for every TF2 character to export into the Source Maker workshop. Ah, that would be that would be a nice thing, Mintori. You know, I, I think capoeira is, for those of you who don't know, capoeira is kind of like a Brazilian martial art. It's not really a martial art. It, it is kind of like a martial art, but it is, it is also kind of like a dance and kind of like a game. You know, for example, most places here in Brazil where where people play capoeira and, and we say play capoeira you know as if it were a game jogar capoeira we don't really say fight capoeira you know we don't really say kind of like a, a capoeira fight as as kind of like you can say a karate fight you know it's more like a game you know that that you play it doesn't really have any it has its internal rules, but it's not like a, a, a game in the sense that TF2 is a game, you know. Think about it more like an, a cultural activity that people do to, you know, to form a community. I think I think that's a, a good way to to talk about capoeira, you know. It's it's different. It's one of the more unique martial arts, I think. I am fit to say, whoa, that's a pretty solid beating bow impression. Yeah, I grew up listening to 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 beating bow music because nowadays that's not that common anymore. But back when I was a, a child, it was very common for schools to to teach 
capoeira to their students. You know, it's, it was kind of like some schools nowadays teach uh, judo, they teach karate, and in my school it was capoeira. So I, I grew up listening to, to that sound, to that chica ching jing jing, chica ching jing jing. It's, it's a very ASMR sound, you know, it's, it's, it sounds good on the ear. If you look for, for Beating Bao songs on YouTube, you probably understand what I'm talking about. Look for a song called Paranauê, Paranauê Paraná. It's written P A R Para, P A R A. N A U E Paranaue and P A R A N A Paraná. So look for that. I, I think you fellas are gonna enjoy the sounds of, of Berimbau, of Capoeira. Very nice. Ah, Enrique is saying there. Thank you so much for your kind words, Professor. I will definitely share my playing with you soon. Yeah, do that, Rika. I, I, I'm hyped for it. I'd like to, to listen you play. You, you, you probably are very good at doing that. And Alison is saying there, have you played any Tekken? Any Tekken game? The character Eddie Gordo is known for his capoeira fighting style. Yeah, Eddie Gordo is, is such a good fella. I remember when we were kids here in Brazil, we would play Tekken 3 on the, on the PlayStation 1. Let, let me just double check if my screen is open for you fellas. Yes, it is, okay. We would play Tekken 3 on the on the PlayStation 1 and it was it was a lot of fun and everyone wanted to play with Eddie Gordo because he was Brazilian and he played Capoeira. And I don't know how, how he plays on, on other Tekken games, but on Tekken 3, which was the one I played the most, it was kinda easy to mash buttons with Eddie Gordo and, and, and win your way like that, so <laughs> sometimes people even said, no, you can't play as Eddie Gordo, Eddie Gordo is, is cheating, you know, kind of like that. But it was a lot of fun, I really like Tekken is a great game, I, I played a lot of Tekken 3 back in the day, and a little bit of Tekken 5 on the on the PS2, but never seriously, you know, just, just having fun. I think the fighting game I played the most over the years was Street Fighter Alpha 2. You know, that one I played a lot on, on the PlayStation 1. I played a lot on the PC with emulators. I played a lot on my PSP. I used to have a, a PSP. And I remember I bought specifically Street Fighter Alpha 2 on the on the Sony Digital Shop, PlayStation Store, whatever that is, to, to play it on the go. And it was great. To this day, I think that Alpha 2 is the best Street Fighter. You know, I know there is others. I think the most celebrated one is probably Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3. I think Third Impact, I think that's how it is called. But my favorite is Alpha 2. I think Alpha 2 is kind of like the perfect Street Fighter, in my opinion. Okay, I got a a different spy there. I, I'm trying not to kill the <laughs> the spy crab. Okay, so someone killed the, the endangered spy crab. That's that's a shame. That's a shame. Ah, and Fitz has typed there the name of the capoeira song, Paranauê Paraná. It's just like Fitz typed there. Fitz is, uh, is starting to become a, a connoisseur of Brazilian culture. I think that that's how you say it. I know. A, a nodulable, a, a someone who knows <laughs> Brazilian culture. That's very nice, Fitz. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm actually glad you're doing that. Pretty good. I have is saying there. I was thinking of bringing back TF2 tubers for my podcast. Some sort of second part, if you know what I mean. Would you like to participate again in a return? Ah, for sure, Javi. It would be a lot of fun. I really like participating in, in podcasts. I, I don't have the time to do that very often, and sometimes it is uh, a bit complicated for me to schedule things. You, you know, because <laughs> it was kind of, kind of hard to, to get a, a hold of me to participate the first time. But I would like to, to go back to it, Javi. I think, I think it would be very nice, you know. Don't really know what we would talk about. That's, that's really my problem with, with podcasts. I sometimes don't know what to talk about during the, the podcast. But I, I would be happy to, to come back. 
perhaps with, with someone else together, you know, Robbie. I think just to, you know, ah, I'm stuck here. To give you uh, an idea that maybe you can use, perhaps whenever you call someone who already participated, it would be it would be interesting to make instead of you and that person, then perhaps you call someone else as well. So you, that person, and another person returning or new to the podcast. I I feel like that makes things more interesting. Otherwise, it, it could become just a, a repeat of the episode you did with that same person. So, you know, ju just an idea. I know it, it, it would be more work for you because you animate your, your podcasts. And I don't, I'm not sure if making a, a three-person podcast would really fit in the style you are going for. But, you know, just an idea. I would very much like to, to get back to it. I think it would be great to participate once again. Uh, by the way, thank you for the for the invitation, my friend. Very nice. Okay, let's kill the medic. <laughs> He's trying to, to kill Ribeiro, who is taunting here. Very, very funny. Very funny. I know, Alison is saying she has always been a huge Yoshimitsu fan. He was so cool in Tekken 3. Yeah, Yoshimitsu was also one of my favorites, Alison. I never quite figured out how to how to play with him, but I, I liked his style. Yoshimitsu is, is, is cool. Kind of like an alien samurai or something like that. I, I, I like that concept very much. I think the ones I, I played the most on Tekken 3 were Ed Gordo, Jin, Jin Kazama, Horang, and Law. You know, the Law that goes like, Hacha! Like this, you know, kind of like Bruce Lee. I think that's his name. Law, Martial Law. I think I think that's his name. Or is it his father's name? Because I know there is a father and a son, and I don't know which one was in was in Tekken Three. But I, I I like to to I used to like to play with with him. It's a, a lot of fun. Tekken Three is a, a great game. And the Tekken franchise in general, I think, only only got better with time. At least that's the impression I, I have, you know, kind of like seeing the games, not, not having played them. But I think they only got better with time. So yeah, I know fellas want to play to play Process. Let's go there. Process is a, a good map. I Enrique is saying there, Professor, what are your opinions on the girl from Ipanema? The song. I've been fascinated with its song structure for a while. I went to college for music composition. Ah, very interesting, Rika. Yeah, I, I really like that song, and it is very popular here in Brazil. I think whenever people mention Bossa Nova, they immediately think about the girl from, from Ipanema, you know. It is a, a very iconic composition. Both the, the, the music and the lyrics as well, I think they are pretty good. I like them. Don't really know uh, many people here in Brazil who dislike Girl from Ipanema. They may even dislike some versions of the song, kind of like some covers of that song, but in general it is a, a very much loved song around here. And I really like it as well. Very nice. Bossa Nova is, is very good music. Uh, there's a, a lot in common with jazz, I think. So it is kind of simple, but at the same time, kind of complex. It, it's, as you said, it is fascinating for sure, for sure. Pretty cool, pretty cool to know you fellas are into Brazilian culture, you know, even if it is just a, a little bit. It, it makes me happy. It's not something we as Brazilians think about a lot, you know, that the rest of the world likes our culture. Or at least the, the art that Brazilians were able to produce over the years. We, we know that there is some, some kind of like repercussion worldwide. But it, as Brazilians, we sometimes kind of like think of us as lesser, you know. There is something that even a, a, a Brazilian, I think he's a, a history academic or sociology academic, something like that, that is called Síndrome de Vira-Lata. It's kind of like 
Vira-lata, I think you can translate to mutt, you know, a dog that doesn't have a, a breed. So that would be kind of like a, a breedless dog syndrome. A mutt syndrome or something like that. I think I think you understand the, the name of the syndrome. And it is, it, it is defined by a, a feeling that as Brazilians, we kind of like don't have a cultural identity or that other countries, particularly European countries, have a more valuable cultural identity than we do here in Brazil. It really is a, a, a syndrome, you know. It's kind of like people know that, that that's not good, but it's sometimes hard to avoid because it has been imprinted uh, by colonization. Brazil was colonized, colo, colonized by the European. You know, it has been kind of like imprinted in our social fabric. But it's it's good to see some recognition from from you fellas all over the world, you know, that kind of like, yeah, the, the girl from Ipanema, Benimbao, and Capoeira and stuff like that makes makes me happy. And I know I'm sure the other Brazilians here on, on chat also also get happy from hearing that. That's pretty cool fellas. I I'm always I'm always happy to be here with you talking about stuff. It's very nice. You, you are really lovable, all of you, you know. It, whenever I stay a, a couple of days, a couple of weeks without streaming, I, I start to miss you fellas. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to be back streaming. It's, it's always nice, very nice. I am fit to say that Alpha 2 is a classic, yeah. The Alpha series in general, I, I, I wish we got uh, a Street Fighter Alpha 4, for example. I think it, it, could, be, it could be nice. In particular, uh, Fitz, I like the anime style of the characters, you know, that more anime aesthetic from, from the Alpha series. I think it goes very well with fighting games. I mean to say that he was the spy crab <laughs> that got destroyed there. Ah, I'm sorry, Victor. I was trying, I was trying not to hit you. And I, I'm sorry someone else got you there, my friend. It's so funny. I hope he wants to make his podcast short, shorter, 20 to 30 minutes. I, I think that's a good idea, Javi. You know, I think if it is too short, then that's a problem because there won't be enough time to talk about stuff. But I think that trying to reduce it to about 20, 30 minutes is a good call, my friend. Because oftentimes I myself don't watch too many podcasts because I don't have the time. Kind of like one hour to, to keep watching to the same thing. Keep watching the same thing. So reducing the length to that range, I think, is a good call. It's something I would do, for sure, for sure. I'm Victor is saying there. Actually, girl from Ipanema, Ipanema is the second most placed music in the world behind yesterday. Damn, that's impressive. I, I didn't know that, Victor. I hope that that's still true. I hope it isn't kind of like an outdated... Uh, fact or trivia or something like that, but that's very impressive. You know, the the song is indeed very popular. That's very cool. And Alison is also saying there, there's something about considering your own culture to be the standard, so everything else seems better or more uniquely interesting compared to it. Yeah, I think that makes sense, Alison. Our, our own culture is is common to us. So we start, you know, thinking there is nothing special about it because it is common. That makes a, a lot of sense, you know, for sure, a lot of sense. In the, in the case of colonized countries, you know, like all of Latin America and Brazil included, I think is, it is more than that also, because there were efforts in, in Brazil's history to kind of like suppress Brazilian culture and favor the Portuguese culture, which were our colonizers and other European countries. So in, in the case of colonized countries, it is a, a bit more than that. But I think the way you, you put it also explains a little bit of that phenomenon, for sure. Yeah, we're having some, some kind of like big, big brain <laughs> big brain conversations here today that's very good you know 
I, I'm 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 always happy, you know, fellas, to to talk to. I hope I hope my game doesn't crash. You, you I don't know if you fellas noticed, but I'm avoiding pressing tab because I don't want to open the the scoreboard because I I've crashed uh, before with it, just as you you fellas saw. So yeah, I'm, I'm making some effort not to open the scoreboard. Ah, another thing I, I was thinking about and I wanted to 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 talk with you about, fellas, was the my my content plan, you know, to to make these gameplay videos, you know, pure gameplay videos, once again. And I I, I wanted to talk to you. What 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 do you fellas think? Because I've been noticing uh, sort of a trend among TF2 YouTubers, and not that it is a bad trend or anything like that, but I, I've been noticing a trend of people kind of like thinking that they can only make uh, high standard content and that it is not worth it to make low effort content and that kind of like they shouldn't make low effort content. I've, I'm talking about that because I've seen, for example, some YouTubers saying that they would not post any more videos that they consider are, are filler videos or kind of like low effort videos, you know, stuff that that they don't think is very high quality. And I understand why they are, are doing that. I think that high quality videos drive more engagement because they are higher quality and all of that and it is worth it making higher quality videos for sure but that got me thinking because <laughs> all i've been doing ever since i started making these, these the videos on, on this channel here is a low effort content it's kind of like I, I i make low effort content all year long and then there's like one or two videos in which I, I really work hard that are my discussions videos and, and then I, I publish one or two but most of the time I'm posting filler content you know what not that I consider it filler content but what other people would consider filler content string highlights you know and now I want to make gameplay videos and, and all of that and that got me thinking if I I will be kind of like the black sheep of TF2 YouTubers because of that. Everyone is trying their best to make the most quality content they can. And here I am just posting stream highlights and gameplay gameplay videos. You know, kind of like without a specific purpose or a, a main idea behind it. And... I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what's better, actually. So I, I would like to know what are your opinions on this, fellas? Do you think it is worth it to, to post low effort videos? Do you think it is better to kind of like stay three months without posting a video and then only post very high quality videos that you work really hard on them? I think I, I'm, I'm more on the side of posting regularly. You know, making, whipping up something to post, just to keep the channel active. It's kind of like, I know it's not a, a strategy that will make the channel grow, at least not fast. But I think it is something I can keep up on the long term, you know, that I, I will not get tired of doing. Because it is low effort content, it doesn't take much effort to whip up something quick and post it on, on the channel. And I think that current YouTube kind of favors that. That's my understanding, at least. I don't know if things changed or how it is. Especially with shorts, for example. I Part of me wants to make gameplay videos again without the webcam, just kind of like the voice and the gameplay. Because it would be very easy to turn that sort of content into shorts to, to post as a, a full video and also a clip as shorts. Kind of like what I've been doing with stream highlights. Uncle Leo also helps me a lot by by kind of like time stamping my streams. I, I really that's really helpful, and I'm very glad he takes some time to to do that when he can. But I think if I did gameplay videos, it would be very easy to to make shorts from them. So I, I'm a bit torn in that in that regard. 
because I'm seeing all the other big YouTubers saying, no, I'm, on a, I'm only gonna post good stuff. And on, on the other hand, I'm kind of like, ah, I, I, I want to post stuff. Not necessarily good, but stuff. <laughs> so I'm a bit torn in that regard. So yeah. Ah, and Alison is saying there, if you went back to gameplay videos, would you use footage from casual? Probably yes, Alison. I'm, I'm even thinking about doing that on casual. I could call people to play on my servers and that would be fun as well. But I think that uh, trying to do it on casual would be the fastest and easiest way because I, I would not have to schedule a match or to kind of like send a, a message on the Steam group calling people to, to play. You know, I could, whenever I have free time, I could hop on the, on the computer, record a gameplay on casual and then edit it quickly later to, to post it. So I, I think I'll, I'll do those on casual if casual is playable enough. So that's that's what I'm thinking about doing. Ah, and Javi is saying there, any old school TF2 video is a good video. Ah, thank you so much, Javi. That's lovely. Thank you very much, my friend. And Minktor as well saying, I like your normal content. Thank you so much. Enrique is saying, I think that anything that someone makes is worth sharing and appreciate. Ah, you, you fellas are, are wholesome. Thank you very much, fellas. Really, really appreciate you. You are being kind to me, and, and I appreciate that. You know, I'm not saying that in a, a bad way. Thank you very much. And Alison is saying there, gameplay videos off stream would be fun to watch. It's interesting how Uncle Dane started uploading more funny TF2 moment uh, clips. They are really watchable and rewatchable. Yeah, you know, that's that sort of stuff that I, I'm thinking about. Not necessarily funny TF2 moments, kind of like a compilation, but you know, a, a video that isn't trying to be anything special, you know, a video that's kind of like just there for people to watch and have fun. You know, a, a good match I had on, on a server, or maybe, you know, a, a funny match when I'm trying some wacky strategy, or a video where I'm just casually talking about some tips and tricks that I employ whenever I'm playing. That sort of stuff I, I used to do a lot on my Brazilian channel back in 2014, 2015, around that time. And I I kind of missed that, you know, it was, it was fun to make those videos. So that's what I'm thinking about. I'm glad you fellas are supportive. That's, that's what matters most to me, so thank you very much. Hey, Moose Guy is there just popping in to say hello. Hello, Moose Guy, and Happy New Year. I hope you are you are doing well there, my friend. Thank you so much for, for showing up on stream. It, it is always nice when you show up here. Very nice, my friend. Another thing I think would be nice about making those kind of like low effort disposable videos that are not just stream highlights, that are actually gameplay videos, you know, is that they could make the streams more desirable. Because I, I feel like posting stream highlights is kind of like a, a double-edged sword. Sword. From one side it is good because it helps people who could not catch the stream to get a feel of how it is like my streams and then later they, they can catch the stream whenever they are available. But at the same time, it kind of likes to make the stream less desirable because people will, will think, ah, I'll watch the stream highlights later. You know, so I think that's kind of like that caveat to posting stream highlights. If I can post stream highlights and gameplay videos, I'll, I'll keep doing that. So I, I don't really want to stop posting stream highlights. But I think if I, I, if I ever feel like I have to prioritize this year one sort of content, I think I'll go for, for gameplay videos because I think they, they will be more beneficial to, to the channel. You know, just my initial hypothesis. We'll see how that goes. You know, and I want to test some stuff as well this year. For example, one thing I want to do this year is to use less Source Film Maker or Blender because I do my thumbnails. I used to do my thumbnails on Source Film Maker and nowadays I do them on Blender because I have the, the models from, from the TF2 characters into Blender. But I, I want to do less 
Source Will Maker or Blender on my thumbnails. I want to go back to making thumbnails with with prints taken for, from the video itself, you know. I, I've noticed there are some videos that kind of like go viral or, or have very good click-through rate. And they have a good thumbnail, but their thumbnail is just a print from the, from the main video, you know. It's kind of weird because I, I, I don't do anything fancy on my thumbnails, but there is some production to them whenever I... I use Blender to make those thumbnails. But I, I oftentimes see videos that have kind of like a more very basic thumbnail, it's just a print with some text. And they do very, very well. So I, I want to try that, you know, to, to go back to that old school style of thumbnail and see how it works. So if you fellas start kind of like noticing my thumbnails are, are very bad and not very engaging at all, please tell me, okay? I want to know that. Ah, and Hobby, oh, damn Hobby, thank you very much for the for the super chat there. A hundred Argentinian pesos, thank you very much, my friend. I wish 2023 to be an amazing year for this channel. Ah, thank you so much, Hobby, and for you as well, my friend, and for all of you. Th thank you so much for the support. It really helps and means a lot to me, Javi. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. Here's a, a heart for you. Thanks thanks so much, my friend. And Alison is saying there, I see what kind of video you mean now. I think you should try it out and see how enjoyable it is. You can tell when someone is enjoying themselves through any video, I think. Yeah, and, and I think that's really spot on, Alison, you know. I feel like I am gonna have fun doing that, you know, and that that's why I'm 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 kind of like I'm tempted to do that. So I'm I'm glad you 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 understand. Thank you so much, my friend. Thanks a lot. So yeah, fellas, those are my plans for this year, and I I think I'll be finishing stream right now. We are clocking close to one hour, which is usually for how long we stream. And I've got so, I got some stuff to do today at the at the rest of my day. So I'll, if I'm cutting this one a little bit short, please forgive me. But I think we we are close to to time, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for for passing by and for playing with us, having fun. This server will still be running. So if you fellas want, you can keep playing there. You know, it is always running. But thanks a lot for for being here with me and happy new year to all of you. Stay tuned for, for new stuff on the channel because I think it will be a, a good change of pace to post those, those gameplay videos. I think we are all going to have a lot of fun. So yeah, here's a big heart to all of you and have a, a wonderful week, fellas. We'll see each other again next Sunday. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>